<laughs> this is John for John and Speed. I'm at the ballpark. I got Lacey Waldrop. How are you? I'm doing good. Happy to be back in Chicago. It took me a little longer to get here this year, but happy to be back. Well, we're happy to have you back. Thanks. First of all, congratulations on your second NPF title. Thank you. How did that feel to back to back? It was great, and I think it was definitely less expected last year with the departure of Monica. So it really was a team effort, and I think that made it even more special. Now I, I didn't. I know I've interviewed you before, and I, I've probably failed to ask you this. Your first pitching out, first pitching performance in the NPF was a one hitter. Oh, against Akron, yeah. Okay, so you, you come in as a rookie, you pitch a one hitter. What was going through your mind? Um, I mean, I would think I was just pitching like myself, how I knew I could throw in college and just took that into pros, and I was just being myself, playing the game pitch by pitch, and it worked out. Okay, now we got a, we have a special section. We did this once before, but we're going to ask you some questions submitted by Kenzie Parker, a huge Bandits fan. She's a young uh, softball player. She hopes to someday be sitting here. Mm -hmm. So I got a few questions from her. Yeah. The first question is, what advice would you give pitchers to, to, to uh, strengthen their mental game? I think what I was just talking about, playing the game pitch by pitch is a big thing and it's something that's easy to say, hard to buy into, but once you can really refocus your mind every single pitch and compete rather than being perfect or worrying about, oh, I hope they don't get a hit, you just have to go out there and compete and throw your best pitch every single time, then that takes a lot of weight off your shoulders and you can trust in your defense and just know that everyone's behind you. Okay. Now, Kenzie's second question is, what did it feel like the first time you stepped in the circle to pitch in Rosemont? It was pretty cool because you have such a great atmosphere with fans, and you don't get that everywhere. Even in college, um, I got to play in the World Series, and that was a really cool atmosphere, but you don't get that every day. And every single day you play in Rosemont, you get that. So that feeling was really cool, knowing that even though it was my first time here, all the fans were excited, they were cheering, and so that's something you don't get everywhere. Okay, and the last question you have is, what is the most important thing that you would tell young, hopeful uh, girl softball players? Definitely to work hard. It's, it's in your hands. You can't let other people dictate how good you're going to be. So it's not going to take mom and dad saying, oh, go out and practice, go out and practice. It's got to be you going out there and asking them, hey, will you come catch for me? Will you hit me ground balls? And even if it's not mom and dad, brother, sister, friend, whoever it is, you have to find a way to put the work in. Okay, and I have one last question just for me. For um, being back-to-back -back champs, does that put any extra pressure or is that just extra fun now that, you know, as, as you head into this season? I think it's extra fun because obviously we would love to go and three-peat, but that's not our main goal. We're taking it one game at a time and just knowing that first we have to make it to playoffs and then from there we take that next step. Okay, well, we'll be following you those next steps. We're hoping you make the playoffs. We're pretty sure you'll make the playoffs. We're hoping that you can possibly do three-peat. That would be awesome. And uh, we wish you luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks, Lacey.